welcome to another episode of Literature Podcast. I'm Joanna. And I'm Mish. And today we're going to be going over what we read in 2018. So we've both opened up our Goodreads and we've looked through the books that we've read this year. And we are going to head over to our Goodreads pages and see what our years in review say. So let's get on into this. I love the little <laughs> banner where it has I the know. profile picture and then my year and books. This is my journey. Mine says this is my journey in books for 2018. They have a... You can edit you can it. You can edit. This is my year in books and, sh and shit. <laughs> For 2018. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so my goal for the year was 140 books, and I have hit this goal. Um, I've read 140 books, although there is still, oh my goodness, how many days left in the year? Seven, eight, nine. There's nine days left, so I'm going to probably have more than this by the end of it, but yeah. I've reached that goal. You have such an ambitious goal, and you met it, and I struggled with my goal of 75. <laughs> That's a big goal. I mean, it you've is, been busy. It, it is a much bigger goal than, la I think last year my goal was 50, and this year I was like, I can do 75. And you I'm, did it. Yes, I'm at 76. Ooh, you are exceeding that goal. I did read a lot of Goosebumps, and... <laughs> I did read a lot of, like, shorter stories in the busy parts because I did not have a lot of attention span for long books this year. Mm -hmm. and I, well, I'm, I'm I read changes. a couple Goosebumps, too. And I also read the entire Lemony Snicket series while we were gone to Florida because those were quick. Yeah, you went to Florida <clears throat> and went I did. to Disney. You're not going to bring, like... We were gone for 21 days. You're going to bring a 1,200-page fantasy novel on your vacation no you're gonna read the no. whole ice song of ice and fire series while going to disney yeah i wouldn't have had the patience or the time for that <laughs> no. so for this year so far um minus the nine days that we're missing i've read forty four thousand eighty three pages that is a ton of pages oh my goodness i've read twenty one thousand 849 pages. <laughs> that still that still sounds like a ton. Like it does. I thought that I would I honestly thought I'd have less than that just because I did read so many shorter books this year. Mm -hmm. But I assume like I did read the A Song of Ice and Fire <laughs> series this year <laughs> and those are ridiculously long. I just had like either a 1000 page book in my hands or a 150 page book in my hands. All right, so then we'll scroll scroll down a little bit. <laughs> All right, so the shortest book you've read this year. Okay, so mine was 64 pages, and it was Vader's Little Princess by Jeffrey Brown. My shortest book was 23 pages. Oh. It was Checking It Twice by Melissa L. Webb. It was one of the Christmas... 23 pages? <laughs> 23 pages. And then I feel like for longest book, you're going to beat me with yours. But my longest book was Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Moss, which was 992 pages. My longest book, I am shocked, is only 1,177 pages, and it was Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right. And then most popular book, <laughs> mine is the Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, yeah. which has... 5,500,092,775,000 reads. It's interesting that you have a different number than me. Do you? <laughs> I do have most popular is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but it's 5,592,787. Ooh, wait, Philosophers and Sorcerers. I wonder if it's different. Mine says Sorcerers because oh, I couldn't it? find Philosophers. Sorry. <laughs> Well, so it's probably the same one. Maybe I haven't updated my page in a few minutes. <laughs> like, I wonder if I do update it, does it go up? Nope, didn't go up. Let's see if my nope, mine's the same. <clears throat> and then least popular book. So zero people have also read "Drop by Drop" and other short stories by Janie St. Clair. So that's my least popular read. My least popular, which 20 people read, was The Christmas Guest by Justin Cawthorn. Hmm. Was that one of the other short stories? Mm-hmm. It was just one of... I couldn't find really good Christmas horror. They were all pretty short 
stories that weren't wonderful, but they got the point. My average rating for 2018 was a four. Oh, mine's I'm... 3.6. I'm a little harder on the books than you are, I guess. <laughs> By point four. Um, my highest rated on Goodreads. So the next um, is the highest rated on Goodreads. So the highest rated book I've read was The Awakening by Douglas L. Wilson. So um, it has an average of 4.89 stars on Goodreads. And I guess that's the best people have rated. My highest rated is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Moss, sitting at a 4.69. Mm. <laughs> um, and then what's next? My first review of the year was The Night They Came for Till by Rebecca Lee Jenkins. Oh, that was such a good one. I like that one. I gave it 4.5 stars. <laughs> or in my blog's terms, I gave it 9 because it was really good. I wasn't expecting to love a like Canadian turn of the century book so much. Right, the first book that I read in 2018 was Carrie by Stephen King. Mm. I gave it a four. And then looking at Goodreads, I think aside from actually going through and reading every individual book, I think that's pretty much it. Um, but we have went through and picked our top like five star or in my case 10 star books and our least favorite one star books and uh we'll share those with you see the highs and lows of our year so i only have two one star books this year and they were a christmas blizzard by garrison keeler Ugh, it sucked and in case you missed it by sarah dar litman that was the worst book ever it had so much like racism and it was horrible. I remember when you told me about that book. I, hate I instantly it. had no desire to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I had quite a few. I know that I had an average of four stars, but I had a remarkable amount of one star reviews this year. Mm. One of them is The Road of Us by S.B. Mamari. Mm -hmm. That one wasn't good. It was not great. <laughs> I went and I got the whole Dark Corners collection from Amazon for Halloween and uh, lots of one stars from there. <laughs> There's a giant trapdoor spider under your bed. By you told me about that Edgar one. Cantero. That was not wonderful. The Sleep <laughs> Tight Motel by Lisa Unger. No. <laughs> the Tangled Woods by Emily Rabotier. Not not, awesome. not, not a fan. <laughs> also not a fan. The Remedy by Adam Haslett. I also did not like. The Christmas Guest by <laughs> Justin Cawthorn was also a one star. I, I had a big long span of a month where I just had one stars for pretty much the whole month and it was really sad. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I did have quite a few good books this year. We've already mentioned one, A Court of Mist and Fury. I finally got into it. I read the first one in 2017. And I almost... And you waited I that wasn't, long? <laughs> I wasn't in love with the first book. I wasn't, like, obsessed with it. I, I get it. The first one was hard to get through. Yeah. So I saw how big the second book was, and I have commitment issues, so I didn't pick it up because I didn't love the first one. And then you loved it so much. I'm like, I'm reading it this year. And then my whole life changed. <laughs> and this whole thing changed for me. And You have I love so many so more books to read because I love them. Like, I'm just, like, going to keep telling you and bugging you to read certain books. I mean, but that's kind of why we're here, to bug each <laughs> other about books to read. Because I've done the same thing to you. <laughs> that's true. That's true. All right, I'll go for it and say one of my 10 star reads. Um, well, actually, there's a couple. Uh, so The Penultimate Peril and The Hostile Hospital by Lemony Snicket were two of my top um, top reads for that series. My next one is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I loved this book so much. I want to read it. It's oh, been on my yes. TBR for so long. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. When you come over, you're reading it. <laughs> 
a couple of my other ones, because I have a bunch of 10 star reads, were uh, With Malice by Eileen Cook. That one was amazing. That one was amazing. That is, I also gave that one five stars. I loved both the Eileen Cook books I read this year. Um, A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Moss was amazing. Yeah. Um, Strange Secrets by Mike Russell. Oh my God. If you haven't read any of the Strange Eye books, you need to because they are like very Tim Burton y and like they're short stories. But they're amazing. Oh, my goodness. I love all of them. <clears throat> I am writing it on a notepad that will be converted <laughs> to the TBR later. <laughs> and then I only have three more books that um, got ten stars from me this year. And that was Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, Queen of Air and Darkness, and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Oh, I love Cassandra Clare so much. I know. <laughs> I know. And you don't like, have to read those, too. <laughs> I know. Every time you talk about Cassandra Clare, like, have you read it yet? Have you read it yet? They're so good. I Can need I? to talk to you. And I'm like, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pick up the pace, man. Oh, no. All right. I did. I have a couple more on mine. I've talked about this one so many times this year. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, which mm. I am going to be reading the next book. In 2019. I can't wait. I don't care if my TBR is too long. I'm reading it. <laughs> and absolutely, and absolutely, and absolutely <laughs> remarkable thing by Hank Green. I shit you not. I almost just said John Green, but that <laughs> would have been. I am actually Very drinking, wrong. <laughs> I'm drinking out of a John Green mug. I'm drinking. <laughs> um, okay. Do you watch Vlog Brothers on YouTube? No. Which is John and Hank Green. Well, they have their pizza. I watch Mental Floss. <laughs> that is a good YouTube channel. But they do two weeks of pizza miss, and basically everything that is sold has John Green's face on it and something to do with <laughs> pizza. And my husband bought me the mug that says, don't talk to me before I've had my pizza <laughs> with his face on the other side. And I love it. But his brother, Hank, is an amazing author. He does so many things. And the fact that he came out with a book this year, so excited. It was so good. I know. I'm I'm planning on buying it for you, just so you know. So please don't buy it. I'll take it off my my, my wish list then. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, Kingdom of Ash was on my list too. Oh my god. All and the I'm, feels. I'm still sad it's over. I'm still sad that 2018 is the end of the Throne of Glass series. Mm-hmm. Why? But I'm excited to see the Court of Mist and Fury, or sorry, Court of Thorns and Roses. I guess. Um, novels spin off and stuff. Like I'm okay with this being over because I'm I'm ready for the other one to move on. You know. Yeah. I like this one, but I'm more attached to the other one right now. I am too. I used to be so attached to Throne of Glass when I first read it, <laughs> and then A Court of Mist and Fury changed it forever. True. Even though I'm still sad that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that was all we had for today's episode what books did you guys read this year if you'd like to get more lit be sure to subscribe to us on podbean itunes spotify Castbox, or anywhere else you listen to us all of our other social media will be linked below if you like this episode be sure to give it a like or rate our podcast it really helps us to keep doing what we love until next time bye, bye.